Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Clarinet Reviews. Today I got something really, really special for you. Here we have the one, the only, Con, Pan American Propeller Wood Clarinet. Now, what exactly is the Propeller Wood Clarinet? Well, legend has it that World War II the downed planes of World War II had propellers, right? And they would take the propellers of these downed planes and use the wood to make instruments. Now, this is a bunch of BS, obviously, but it was good marketing. They made clarinets and oboes with this special propeller wood uh, finish. They also called this a violin finish. And the word finish is a bit of a misnomer as it implies that it is a finish and not the actual wood. But it turns out that the wood is actually this type of striped, interesting striped wood. I don't actually know what kind of wood it is, but it's not made out of propellers. That's That much is for sure. But anyway, this is pretty much um, the same as any other con of the time period to my eye. Obviously it's made of Pan American. That was a, Pan American was a division of CG Con. It was kind of like its own subsidiary company, so it wasn't a con but it was kind of a con and the keys are very similar to a, such as a con 16 or a con director um, the keys are actually kind of soft which is really sad because you can bend these things like butter which is no good but other than that one thing that really disappoints me is that the tone holes it's hard to see but the tone holes are actually mold or uh, glued in after the fact and this is a feature of many cheap Chinese clarinets these days. They'll take, they'll mill the, the wood as like a solid piece and then they'll actually take the tone holes themselves, make them out of a different material and then glue them directly onto the wood itself. Now this isn't good because one, the tone holes can actually fall off, but it's just a signifier of lower quality. So um, the reason that they would do that is because this type of wood was expensive and it was tough to get a piece of wood that was thick enough to allow for you know, full tone holes, I guess. So they just didn't do it. And they glued in the tone holes after the fact, which I think is terrible, but that's the way it happens. In any case, it's a pretty uh, nice instrument. In terms of playability, it's decent. Nothing spectacular. It's, it's essentially a mid-range wooden con of the, what, 40s, 50s, that sort of time period. Nothing spectacular except the wood finish is absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. And this is something, these clarinets are, in terms of value, they're all over the place. You can find them as cheap as $80, as much as $500. Usually they'll trade for two to $300, I would say. Um, but it's very volatile, it just depends on what the market will bear and you know, if somebody really wants a propeller wood, they're gonna pay a lot for it. So that's about all I got to say about the pan. American propeller wood clarinet. Uh, takeaways from this review is that one, it's not made out of propellers, two, it's not that good, and three, it's really pretty, so who cares if it's good or not. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you around. All right, let's play a little bit of notes so you can hear how this thing sounds. I have a Rico Reserve X5 as the mouthpiece. It's one of my favorite mouthpieces of all time. It's excellent, highly recommend it. I have a Leger 2.5 reed, which I do not recommend. I prefer Fibercell much more. And I have a interesting Louis, Louis Bins ligature. These are hard to find and kinda, kinda neat. So, let's play it. So as you can tell, it plays kind of nicely. It's um, I would describe it as decent. Uh, it's not spectacular, but in general, it's an excellent instrument. I think it has a good projection. It's got a good sound. It's fairly smooth, and uh, for in terms of who is good 
who this is clearly good for. I'd say pretty much anybody who wants to play a really beautiful looking instrument. Um, anywhere from, I'd say, high school through pro level. But if you're in an orchestra or soloist, you're going to want something better. But if you're just, you know, bumming around in the hobby orchestra, then this is great. Um, and like I said, if you just really want to play on something that will wow people and shock their socks off, bring out the bad boy Contan American Propellerwood clarinet and you got yourself a showstopper.